Okay, welcome to the Singapore live coverage of the 2021 National School Game Senior Division Table Tennis. This is the South Zone Semi-Finals and we are live from Amokyo Primary School. Currently, you're watching the clash between East, uh, between Pichun, uh, Pichun Public School in blue and Hongwen Primary School in red. So beside me, I have my colour commentator, Sing Ru from the Team Singapore Table Tennis. So, hi Sing Ru. Yes. Uh, hi Cecilia, I'm looking forward to the performance of both teams in this semi-finals match today here. Mm. So would you like to give a rundown of the players who are playing the first singles? Yes, um, today um, from Patreon we have Anias. Um, he's a junior development squad player in um, practicing in the STTA in Tobago. We also have um, Harvey from Hongwen Primary School in Red. Okay, so earlier on for the first semi-finals, it was between ACS Junior and Aitong Primary and Aitong Primary had won uh, their ticket to the finals already. So for this match, do you, uh, what do you think will happen? Um, I think that um, both teams, oh looking from the first shot, um, Benayas from Patreon is very confident mm. and considering they are first in their preliminary round, yep. um, winning Aitong which is um, a school that advanced into the finals already. So I think they stand slightly a higher chance um, in the semi-finals here today. Mm. I did hear that uh, Patreon Public School is quite good at table tennis. Um, yes, so um, from what I know, they have two junior development squad players. Uh -huh. And although this is their first time in the finals, mm. they are always um, in the semi-finals as well. And for Hongwen, they are also uh, frequent visitors of the semi-finals. That's good. So right now we can see that the points are quite close and we have seen uh, quite a few uh, smash from Patreon uh, Benayas. Yes, um, in the first set, um, it is common to see that um, the scores are very close mm. because um, both players came in without warming that much, yes. warming up that much. Because of the COVID situation, they are unable to do their warm-ups like how a normal competition would be. Yes, that's so, right. So yeah, they will probably warm up in their school and come for the competition. Mm. And also we might see a lot of mistake in this first set, right? A lot of unforced error because yes. they are not used to it yet. Yes, yeah, so perhaps they are just observing about the observing the place of their opponents. Yes, that's correct. You can see that um Harvey tried to um counter attack. Mm -hmm. Oh actually they are both not bad. But then uh, definitely I do feel like Benayas is much more strong in his offense, right? Yes, Benayas, um, you can see that he has his own set of um, attack, attack tactics. So mm. after he serve, he is very confident in his second ball attack. Like you can see that he has the footwork and the tactics to perform the attacks as well. Mm. So he's definitely more composed than his opponent, Harvey. Yes. Alright, so right now Benayas is at set point, 10 to 5. So even though um, there are some unforced errors by Benayas, he still seemed confident. Mm. So he's not hesitant to do any of his um, tactics. Yeah, so perhaps um, it, it was a good fight from Harvey, but yes. we will see if he's able to bite down the scores in the second set. Yeah, so if I conclude this first set of these uh, first singles, uh, Benayas has won Harvey with a score of 11 to 6. So maybe you want to give some advice to Harvey over here? Um, because in the situation where Benayas is so... Um, Aggressive? Yes, he's mm. such an attacking player. So Harvey should also take out the, the initiative to push, um, to push the game into rallies um, mm. to his favour. So instead of playing to um, Benaya's strengths, he could perhaps um, change his tactics a bit. Yeah, so maybe he can hit towards the corners of the table, yes, right? Yes, yes. Mo making uh, Benaya's uh, move a lot more. Yeah. Okay, so this is the starting of the second set of this first single. Oh, that was a great um, backhand shot by Benaya's. Hmm. And compared to other players that I have seen earlier, I can see that uh, both of them, when they do their service, right, they don't really do the stopping of it. So they're not yeah, aggressive 
com in the serve compared to uh, the other players earlier on. Yes, so but uh, actually stomping on feet does not necessarily equates to like a more powerful or spinny serve. Like, it can be a personal habit also. I see. But uh, I can see that Benaya's serve is relatively um, giving him um, good um, returns because his serves are quite spinny and short. Okay. So you can see Harvey trying to attempt to yeah, push the ball, but he kept um, pushing the ball outwards. Mm. That's because um, it is an upward spin ball, so it's tough unless you can adapt to the spin. It's tough to control. Yeah, so as long as you you fail to control, the ball will just go out of the table. I see, so I can see that it's a great tactic by uh, Benayas for his serve, right? Yes. And it's also tough to chop that ball because um, once you chop right, it's gonna be quite a high ball, and Benayas can just attack the second ball. Harvey tried to went for attack, but he missed that ball. I think he's uh quite under pressure because of Benayas like strong attacks. Yes, um, you can definitely see the difference between the two players. Mm -hmm. So what? Um, so Harvey um does not really have um winning strokes or tactics. Mm. While well, you can see that Benayas um uh, has has what it takes to win this set or even this game. I see. Okay, so Benayas is just two points away from taking this set. So this is actually a best of five game compared to the preliminaries where they get to play all five sets. So once uh. One of them have win like three sets in this uh, game. They will be taking the entire game. So right now, uh, Benayas have won the second set with a score of eleven to four. So any opinion? Um, I feel that mm. Benayas has been extremely smart um, about how he plays. From his service, you can see that he's well prepared. Mm. He's giving a lot of variation in terms of spin and location, serving short and serving long. Mm -hmm. While on the other hand, um, Harvey, it's challenged with Benayas' um, short forehand side spin serve, mm -hmm. and that may also result in him losing the initiative in the rallies. And he's also making quite a bit of unforced errors. I see. But we'll see if he can win more points in the third set. Yes, definitely. Okay, so this is starting of the third set of the first single. So similar to earlier set, Benayas have won the first point of this third set. I can tell that Benayas is actually really hitting all the corners because I see a uh, Harvey moving a lot. Yes, this is this is actually how you see if a player is better than another. So mm. if you are just a player standing there and just shifting the opponents around, mm. you can see that you are actually more in control in the game. So you can see that um Harvey is actually not in the upper hand. Yes. He is uh, more he's taking less initiative. Mm. And a service error. At this kind of timing, it's quite a uh, waste because yes. yeah, you are losing by about five points and you make a service error. Yes, and only since the set point is only eleven points, so making a mistake, a service mistake at any point, right, is very costly. Yes, a six point difference. So and you can see that Harvey's service is not challenging Benayas at all. Mm. So it's just to his hands. He can just do whatever he wants. He can do a forehand drive, mm. and there's nothing. There's nothing much Harvey can do actually. Mm. Now pushing it to like the game point, and yeah, I think there is gonna be no surprise in this game if Benayas takes it. I see. Making a lot of mistake in the later part of the game, but he's still leading by a lot. Benayas. Yeah, and he takes it. Yes. Yeah, so, 
to summarize, Vanayas have won this uh, first single with a set score of 11 to 6 for the first set, 11 to 4 on the second set, and 11 to 3 on the third set. So, maybe just a quick summarization of the entire gameplay. So well done to Benayas. Um, I think that he did extremely well and being up in the first single definitely there is more pressure on him because mm. his win will determine the entire team's morale but for Harvey it's also a great job because Benayas is a junior development squad player so mm. all the best to both teams in the first doubles later on. Alright, so we'll take one minute break.
Alright, welcome back to the Singapore live coverage of the 2021 National School Games of the Senior Division Table Tennis. This is the South Zone Semi-Finals and we are live from Amokyo Primary School. So you're watching the clash between Patreon Public in blue and Hongwen Primary in red. So beside me, I have my colour commentator, Wong Sing Wu from, uh, from Team Singapore Table Tennis Team. Hi Sing Wu. Yes, hi Cecilia. So mm. now we have... Um, our first doubles. So previously, Patron won the first single. Mm -hmm. So, Benayas won the first point for Patron, and now we have Jia Jing and Zhan En representing Patron for the first doubles, as well as Linus and Jaden from Hong Wen. So this game is actually quite important. So if Hong Wen is able to win this game, they will be pulling the match, the to a tie. Yes, the game point to a tie. Alright, so it is the starting of the first set. So for judging for their warm up earlier, so what do you feel about it? Um, I feel that um the standards are pretty close, mm -hmm. but we will have to see because um warming up and playing a game can be very different. I see. Yeah, I think they are still not used to the game yet because they are giving each other a lot of chance ball. Yeah, I think they need some time to warm up. But you can see that um, Hong Wen has more unforced errors. Yes, actually you can see that both doubles pair, they mm. are one left-hander with one right-hander. So actually this is the most comfortable doubles kind of pairing that um, coaches would want to put their players in. This is because um, after the left-hander hit the ball, yeah. he can just go back to his original position which is at the right side of the table. So he stays at the right, mm -hmm. while the right-handed player stays at, stays at the left. So they, so it's generally easy to move because they are at separate positions. Yeah, so they won't obstruct each other, yes. right? Yeah. Compared to if you're having two right-handed players together, you will have to... It's more dependent on the footwork and mm. the chemistry between both players. I see. Oh well, yeah, and I was talking earlier uh, during the first semi-finals how doubles is very... Uh, during when you play doubles, right, it's important to have a lot of chemistry because it's really... Yes. You will reflect on your results. Yeah, so um, by having chemistry, it can be um, anticipating how your partner would return mm. the ball and, and preparing yourself for the next rally. Yes, a lot of communication involved. Yes, but we are not seeing much of the communication between both teams um, no. yeah, yet. But we definitely can see that um, Jia Jing and Zhan En, it's more ready for uh, rallies. And they are also doing, doing the hand signals under the table. So for those that um, do not really watch or do not really know about table tennis, the hand signals is about uh, what kind of spin and if you're going to serve short or serve long during the match. So it tells your partner about, um, it's, al it's allowing them to anticipate the returns of the opponents. Yes, that's correct. Also, I heard like uh, for those, uh, there's also a hand signal for those uh, you're trying to waiting for the serve, right? Yeah, so when you are on the receiving end, so your opponent is serving, you might want to signal to your partner if um, I'm going to return short or am I going to return long or yes. would I be doing a flick. Yeah, so it, it gives your partner more information mm -hmm. and they will be able to prepare better. I understand. So, okay, right now, uh, Patreon have won the first set of this first double with a score of 11 to 8. So what advice would you give Hong Wen Premier at this moment? I feel that um, the first set is quite close, but um, Hong Wen made more unforced errors. So I would say the standard is pretty close, unla unlike the first singles. Uh -huh. So if Hong Wen is able to make less unforced errors, like service errors, which we have seen quite a few just now, yes. they might be able to uh, clinch a set or two. Noted. 
Alright, starting off the second set of these first doubles. Yeah, that was a great flick by the left-handed player from Patron. Is left-handed player generally hard to find in table tennis? Um, not really hard to find, but generally lesser than right-handed players. Mm. That was a great spin variation. So as a Team Singapore player, right, when you're playing doubles, what advice would you give uh, the players who are playing right now? Or maybe just those who are playing doubles? Yeah, I'll say for doubles, it's um, very different from singles because you have somebody to talk to, you have somebody to share um, the, the troubles that you're facing on court. Mm -hmm. So you must use that to your advantage. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that you feel uncomfortable about, like like your opponent is um, hitting way too much at your weakness, you could perhaps tell your partner and alter your strategies a bit. And you can also um, just work with just work on the chemistry and there's a chance that you might be able to win better players than you when you're in doubles. Yeah, so this comes with a lot of experience, right, for a double uh, pairing. Yes. So Peichin is leading this set uh, with 3 points, so they are pulling the score gap quite widely unlike the first set. Mm. Now the score is 8 to 4. Just 2 points away from taking this set, Peichun. Yeah, Jia Jing and Zhang En is definitely more... Um, composed and warmed up right now mm. as compared to the first set taking the second set very easily 11 to 4 yes definitely so as a national team player what would you uh, advise uh, Justin and Zhang En to do even better to uh, overcome their opponent with a larger score gap I think what they are doing now is great mm. but um because now they may be taking a more steady approach, so it's just picking up on mistakes that Hongwen Primary School, um, Linus and Jaden is making. Mm -hmm. But if they want to improve more, they could perhaps try more strategies. They can try to initiate attacks or just practice what they learn in training because this game is quite one-sided right now. Yeah. So maybe winning the game might not be their biggest priority. It might be just... Um, trying to uh, figure out more strategies that can help them improve on their doubles play in the future. I see. And actually in this uh, match, we hardly see a lot of smashes, right? We just see a lot yes. of errors, uncaused errors. Yeah, so um, definitely um, you don't really see a player that really stands out in this game. Mm. So because all of them has its own errors, and if I have to pick one that is the one that I feel stands out the most, it's it's going to be the left-handed player from Patreon. I see. So making a lot of service errors. Mm. So also the left-handed player is quite tall compared to uh, in between the four of them. Uh. So generally I feel like uh, when you're much taller, you have longer limbs so you can cover the entire court much easier. So it's an advantage, right? Yes, it can be an advantage if mm. you use it well because if you're taller, you have a, a larger reach mm. but you may also block your partner from seeing the ball as well. That's true. A 3-point lead for Patreon. Definitely, um, Patreon has been delivering very consistent performance so far what we have seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if they continue on, there's a very high chance that they will advance to the finals. Okay. Alright, we see that Hongwen is not, uh, not giving up a fight and still trying to earn some points. Actually, it's nice to see that um, mm. Linus and Jaden are still trying because um, mm. in table tennis games, till the last point, you wouldn't know what would happen. There are instances that um, players that are leading 10-4 um, um, are 
turn back to lose 12-10. Yeah. So it's never over to the last point. Yes, yes. Also, like we have heard, we have watched some few uh, table tennis match. There are some also even larger instances that, like, for example, the team is winning 2 0 for overall score, end up flip back the other team win with a score of 3 2. Yes, but this doesn't seem to be the case for mm. this match, and it's ending off with Patreon winning the Eleven. first doubles. Yeah, so they ha Patreon have won the first singles and the first doubles with a score of 3 0 for both of it. So right now, if they win the second single, which is ne the next game, they will be able to head straight into finals. So hopefully, Hongwen will prevent that for happening, and we'll see. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, welcome back to Singapore live coverage of the 2021 National School Games Senior Division Table Tennis. This is a South Zone semi-finals and we are live from Amokyo Primary School. Currently, you are watching the clash between ACS Junior in Blue Shirt. And, uh, sorry, you are watching Peichun Public in Blue Shirt and Hongwen Primary in Red Shirt. So beside me, I have my color commentator, Singru from the Team Singapore National Team Singapore Table Tennis. Yes, um, hi everyone, I'm Sing Ru. So now we are at the second singles. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, so on the screen right now, you're looking at Sing Ru profile. So, Sing Ru, you have played in NSG before as well. So, maybe you want to, you like to give your uh, experience when playing in NSG. Yes, yeah, so last time it's actually not called NSG we call it like zonals mm. so actually I used to represent Patreon Public School when I was primary school oh. but I do not have any memories about it because <laughs> I was probably too young at the time 
But in secondary school, I represented Singapore Sports School. I see. And we played in another zone, which is not um, South Zone. Uh, it was pretty fun because we get we get to feel so much about the team spirit when we shout together. Unfortunately, um, now you are unable to cheer loudly for your teammates. Yes. Yeah, but generally, um, I love um, NSG because we are able to uh, fight together as a team and win gold medals together. Yes, and good to see that uh, you have evolved from playing in NSG to even play in overseas uh, major games like SEA Games and such. So me, I give uh, just a short talk about like what happened during your SEA Games or any of it. Um, yeah, so SEA Games, I played um, doubles in the Philippines. So mm. it was quite nerve-wracking because we were playing against the home country and they have their own um, supporters as well. So the pressure was on us and I'm glad that we made it to the semi-finals and earn the bronze medal but our goal will definitely to bring greater honour to Singapore winning the gold medal in the future. Alright, and we hope to see you in this year's SEA Games as well. Yeah, um, I hope so too. So, um, would you like to introduce about the players that are playing in the second singles? Okay, so right now from Peichun Public School, we have Kai Wei and from Hongwen Primary School, we have Max Dunn. Yes, from what we know about Kai Wei, Kai Wei is a junior development squad player training also under the Singapore Table Tennis Association. Mm. Yeah, so we would see if he um, plays to his standards. Yes, okay, so this is the first set of the second single. So earlier on, during the first singles and the first doubles, Patreon have taken the win with a 3 nil for both of the games. So right now, if they win these second singles, they'll be able to hit straight into the finals. And they will be facing Ai Tong, which has won in the first semi-finals game. Yes. Aggressive attacks from Tai Wei. Unfortunately, um, it's just um, a little bit too much off the table. I feel like in this uh, match, uh, Maxton is very calm, even though his uh, teammates have lost the previous game. So great to see that he is uh, very composed while still playing this match, because he's leading right now. And it's a service warning. You can see that um, now both players are slightly reserved mm. in the first game. Yeah, and that's a luck ball touching the, 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 the net. Mm -hmm. I think both of them don't really want to make any mistakes because they have seen their teammates uh, hitting a lot of outboards earlier on, so that's why they are playing much more uh, so reserved, uh, as you said. Yeah. Uh, and that was a good counter attack by Maxton because in the first game actually you should take more aggressive playing style because you should be observing what kind of mistakes your opponent makes you have to try try around things so being so reserved in the first set it may be because you want to secure the first set but it can also bring like adverse effects making yourself more nervous Currently tight on the score, seven all. Quite a close first set. Mm. Playing safe. And service spot? Uh no, it's just uh a reservice because okay. the service may have touched the net. I see. So now it's tied at 8-all and Kaiwei has two service. Let's see if he can. Um, oh, and that's a duck ball hitting the edge of the table. Okay, Maxon is just two points away from taking this set. This is probably the closest game that we have watched today. Alright, set point for Kaiwei.
Oh, it went into a deal. So, uh, for any one of them to win uh, this set, they have to win with a two point lead, right? Yes, you have to win by a two points advantage. Mm. They're already playing a bit too safe. Looks like both of them doesn't want to make any mistakes, but it's uh, Maxton that takes this point. At the last moment, he suddenly went, went for a strong push, right? Oh, and... Another deuce. Yeah, so that was actually an opportunity for Maxton to end the game. Mm. But you can see that Kaiwei seems a bit nervous in the first game. And there are actually many luck balls that is happening, like um, let off the net as well as hitting the edges of the table. Uh, yeah, so that's the nature of the game. It's like a sticky shot like that. It's something that you cannot control. So this kind of thing that happens, right? You will feel very angry if, especially induced, there's yes, a yeah. let ball and, but there's nothing that can do about it. Yes. And Kaiwei takes this um, hardly fought first set. Yes, with a score of 14 to 12. So earlier on, it's quite surprising because Maxton was taking a lot of the set point earlier than uh, Kaiwei. But then in the last moment, suddenly uh, Kaiwei took the lead and won this set. So, what do you think uh, the players both should do right now to make sure this match uh, can be played a bit more intense? Yeah, so definitely has to come. It comes down to the tactics that um, the coaches gives to the players. So in the screen right now, you can see Coach Tang Hua is coaching Kai Wei. So perhaps he can uh, tell him some of the tactics that may help enhance his play in the second set for him to improve on his play. And for Maxton, I just feel that um, it's definitely a closer game played compared to his teammates. and. Winning one set or two would probably um, gain, make him have more confidence in the future. Mm. Alright, they are still playing quite closely and this is also the starting of the second set of these second singles. So definitely, because Kaiwei is coming from, you would say, a more upper hand table tennis background, because he's in the junior development squad. So for Maxton, he just has, he is just challenging a player that is considerably better than him. So perhaps his mental, his in terms of mental, he would be in a more advantageous um, position while Kaiwei might be facing uh, more nervousness and that that may result in him having a more reserved play. Okay, so right now on the screen you can see there's the link to all the fixtures and also all the results. So you can head on to go.gov.sg slash energy for all the information that you want to know about table tennis or even other sport as well. Pichun uh, is leading with a score of 5 to 3. Actually, you can see that Maxton is serving, most of his service are long. So, for Kaiwei, he can actually just loop the ball up and just advance into the rallies instead of making chops. So, it will just be chops, 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 and trying to uh, make a loop. So, he can just. Um, Straight away go for a loop instead. Yes, yeah, so right now the score is 7 to 4 with Kaiwei leading. But uh, even though Kaiwei has been leading quite a while, I feel like he's making a lot more errors than uh, Maxton. Because uh, uh, even though he wins some scores, some of the balls are luck ball. Uh, yeah, but definitely we have seen him saving some luck balls mm. as well. That was a good rally. Yeah, probably the longest rally we have seen in the match now.
so you're saying actually if Kai Wei is able to um, lower his unforced errors like just making all the loops in, he actually stand uh, quite an upper hand. I but see. um Maxton from Hong Wen, he also looks extremely determined trying to um, go for every ball, which is a, a quality that um, all the players should have and should look up to. I see, okay. So right now Kai Wei have won the second set or the second single from the score of eleven to seven. So him winning the, the next set will be uh, a straight win for Patreon to go straight into finals to versus Ai Tong. So you like to give your few words, just your short words. Yeah, it's definitely not easy for Maxton to go against uh Kai Wei from JDS but anything can happen so just never give up till the last point yeah so i still think that um both players are quite close um in terms of chances Okay, so the starting of the third set of these second singles. Do you think that Maxton is feeling the pressure right now since that Kaiwei have won the first two sets? Actually, in terms of experience, if your team is losing, it's, it's down 0 to 2 and you're also down. There's not much pressure you face. Actually, it's just playing your own game. Trying, trying your best actually. So, pressure-wise, I think because that won't be too much on Maxton. I feel. I see. Actually, this is the first time out that I have seen this entire semi-finals and the previous semi-finals caught by Hong Wen. So, what do you think the Hong Wen coach is advising Maxton about now? Oh, I'm really not sure. Maybe it's a change of tactics. Maybe it can be just. Uh, disruption to Kaiwei's momentum right now. I see. That seems good. Alright, so they are on to continue with the game. A lot of errors still coming from Maxton at this point. It seems like the timeout did not work very, really well for mm. Hong Wen, uh, Maxton from Hong Wen, mm. and Kaiwei seemed to be um, breezing through the third game with a seven point lead. Yes. And the third set is very different from the f first two sets, which is um, quite close. Yes. Now he has reached um, the match point okay and that's it for the third set of the second single so uh, Kyrie have won with a score of 14 12 11 7 and 11 1 so this means that uh, Petro Public School have won three games in a row and they have secured their ticket to the final so would you like to just uh, give a conclusion of the two school yeah, so firstly, congratulations to Patreon. They have done extremely well and proven themselves to be the finalists of this um, this zone competition. But also, uh, good job to Hong Wen trying to um, challenge the players from Patreon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now what you see is the to overall score of both school. So once again, congrats to the both of them because they will be playing uh, the for the first and second placing and the other one will play for third and fourth placing so that's all for today and we'll see you in the finals